What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Sweat, and welcome to DraftKings contributor Jeff Ork and RotoWire's Paul Bruno. Fellas, here for NHL Morning Skate, so we need you to preview tonight's six-game NHL slate from a DFS, and we'll get into some sportsbook perspective, too. So let's start with who your favorite center is tonight. Jeff, who are you going with? Yeah, I mean, uh, look, I think it's a great time to jump on Jack Eichel at 7,000. I mean, obviously had a massive uh, game in his last outing, um, you know, five sh- five shots on goal and a goal, and now gets the, the Arizona Coyotes. I mean, we're all kind of waiting for the, the Vegas Golden Knights offense to potentially start clicking, and I think now is this is a pretty good slate to jump on them. I mean, you've got Columbus obviously playing really well, who I liked last night, and they did come through, but... They're on a back-to-back against a good defensive team in Carolina, and everyone's going to be all over the Hurricanes in this spot, and that's fine. But I think loading up on Vegas here, it might not be super sneaky, but I do think you'll get lower ownership than you will on the Hurricanes. And I, I just think that there's still like a big group of people in DFS probably not sold on paying 7000 for Jack Eichel because he's only in his, like, his fourth game back. So for me, I, I'm going to Jack Eichel tonight. I think the, the Golden Knights offense has just as good a shot at being uh, the leaders on the slate as Carolina. All right, Paul, who are you going to at the center position on this NHL slate? I'm right with Jeff. Without repeating all the narrative that he just explained, uh, it makes total sense. We're all waiting for that breakout effort, and he seems primed for it in a very nice matchup. I think the case can also be made for Sebastian Ajo, who's a bit of a higher floor play, I would say, with a point per game, 28 shots on goal in his last 10 outings. But the guy that's a sneaky good value tonight is Anze Kopitar, a $6,200 price tag. He's got 47 points in 51 games. That tells you he's a model of consistency. 11 points in his last 10. That, too, is a very high floor, and it's a cheaper price. So that might be where I'm focusing tonight. 